Today, we are looking to take our eFootball game to the next level, starting a road to glory from the very basics, the very start of the game with nothing on the game, no money spent, all the way to Division 1. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel because there is going to be so many tips, so many hints on how to play football, how to do the different events, and how to grow your club to be able to compete in Division 1. But today, it's just the start of the journey. Right, so we've got a completely base account, which is very fun. I've just had to uh, go ahead and... and you know, move on to a new uh, Steam account and try and get us here. But we are going to be going with the UK region. This is going to be on PC as well to confirm. Um, so we can get into the PC things because I play on Xbox on the uh, the, the non-RTG, should we say, the money spent account. But uh, here on PC, it's going to be different. We're going to be trying to do things in a different manner. Um, what should we call this Kempy Plays, you know, because that's the channel it's going to be going up on. Hopefully it works, the username. It does a massive dub. Um, but yeah, we're going to be on PC. So anyone on PC? PC, make sure to hit me up. We could get a little game going. I've already got a couple of people that I'm looking to do the free player co-op with, which should be fantastic fun. But welcome to eFootball 2024. Your dream journey is about to begin. This is really from the absolute beginning. Now, I'm not going to be starting with United because... I want to start with the Brazilian kits. Now, I just like the Brazilian kits very much, and they're a little bit iconic. We are going to be having our team name as the Kempi Army, because that's what you boys are. If you're watching this right now, you're part of the Kempi Army. I hope you know that. The absolute goats. Um, what have I just pressed there? I've got rid of the Kempi Army. Don't get rid of the Kempi Army. They won't be happy with you. It's going to be in capitals as well, because we are the army of them all. Um, and then this we can change to... KXI because you know we're not KSI we're KXI around here we have created the club absolute dub as I've said we're not gonna be going through season six I did that all on Thursday if you want to check out everything that's in season six that is the best place to go now I have recently helped a mate up go through the very start of eFootball from the beginning to the end and uh, getting him involved in the game and how to play etc so I should have a fairly good knowledge of how to do it one thing I will say is that was season five when we got blue lock players, when we had these beat the clock. There was so many more things to do to get a better team. I don't think I've got any blue lock players now or anything. I don't know. I might do, but I think all the blue lock stuff is gone. I obviously am 100% going to be doing this so I can get myself the copy menu. We'll be going through all the events, what to do at the very start, all today. We've got the daily game as well. We need to unlock that Santos Neymar. I've got no idea how long it's going to take. I don't even know if it's possible to still get him. I'm hoping because he's an absolute god. And without him, we're going to be a little bit screwed. I'm going to just chuck the eFootball noise down. The tiniest little bit rather than it being too loud for us. We are going to be scoring the penalty. And you know what we're going to do to kick things off as well? We're going to pen anchor it down the middle. I don't even know lines. I need to pen anchor. Pen pen I need to change the controls. It's not even pen anchor it. Livid. All right, weather. No Penenka, but it's a goal. And we can still get the name up. But the looks of it, the pink at the end is giving me hope. Yeah, we can still get the Neymar. We need to be quick and get that Neymar ASAP because he is going to be massive for the club. We've got some debut missions coming in as well. Some four-star players. We absolutely love it. We do need to link up our Konami EID as well so we can go and get the Mainu. Um, a whole bunch of two tickets there for four-star players, which are going to be the best players we have in our club. Because if we go to our team and look at the players... They're not great. I mean, they're not even real. It's Castillo here. I don't think we got ourselves a Castillo, do we? Which is heartbreak because he's a bit of an eFootball meme. We've got a rubbish manager. The game plan's all stinky. Oh, this is going to take a long old time, but I'm very, very excited. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel and getting yourself locked in. Welcome to the journey. Special player list. Now, these are great. But this is a no money spent RTG. So the only players we're going to have to get from here are nominating contracts or free players. I believe we should get a Brazilian player by the time we click onto this and at read all and accept all. Hopefully we get some bits and bobs in there. 10,000. Wow, we've got so many. Oh. <laughs> the sad thing is that this Brazilian player on the non RTG, I opened and instantly discarded. That's not going to be the case here, is it? He is definitely going to be one of our best players. I need to make sure as well to turn off the music and the settings on the audio because we do not want to get the channel written off from the beginning. So I'd do that as soon as this pack's opened. We've got Jemison. Um, what is Jemison? He's a centre-back. He's a centre-back at 78 overall. That could be good. I'm just going to go and turn the music off. Right, the music's all off, which is fantastic. Um, we've got some more missions as well because I've just opened a pack. That Jemison is inconsistent, which isn't great. Um, but I suppose it is what it is. Hopefully, it'll be better than the 70 raters we've got at the moment. 
Um, so all we want to go through right now really and do is I put up all these tickets, I suppose, isn't it? Um, and just try and get some base players into the team. Um, we've got a five-star striker. We're looking for Mbappe here. Mbappe here and this RTG is going to go incredibly, incredibly well. We'll watch the animation for the five star. The rest will skip. So don't skip the video and look at the team because we are going to have our very first player come in. That's disappointing because in about four or five days, we'll have the next version. Oh, that's so annoying. An 83 Neymar. That would be fantastic if there wasn't the Santos Neymar coming for free. Oh, that's that is classic. All right, we'll have to move on from that one. But Neymar is in. We'll go and skip all these four-star ones and uh, make it nice and quick. We've got two strikers to get in. Someone decent, please. Serge Nabry. I don't know if that's good, but it's not a striker. He's inconsistent. Oh, of course he's inconsistent. He's got some decent stats in him. A-rated as well. I will say, by the way, I'm not a pro at eFootball. I've got no idea really about a lot of things. So if there's things that I miss or things you can help me teach with, do it down below because it will help me out a lot. There's our bagsman. Chiro Immobile is going to be the man to score our goals. Oh, God. He's got first-time shot. I know first-time shot and first-time pass are very good um but what oh, the goal poacher and bits i don't you really know which ones are good i know that um destroyer is good for the center backs the rest i don't we really know so help me in the comments down below i am by no means an e-football master i can be taught many things uh, that is gonna be ourselves an otavio Again, not great, but he can play in centre attacking midfield, which I suppose is decent. He's got unwavering form as well, which is good. But that's not the grace to players to get in. Another one coming in now as the four-star midfielders. Skip it all and see what we get. It's going to be a Bourguard. Again, quite an attacking midfielder. He plays uh, midfield and right. Unwavering and centre mid again, though. Box to box isn't too bad. One touch pass as well was nice. So not awful. And it's now trying to improve our defense. Obviously, got Jemison already. So, a fullback and a center back would be great. Tiago Silva. Get him in the back, mate. He's a destroyer as well, which we'll take. I don't mind that. And uh, now a fullback would be nice. I don't want to play three back. Anything but three back, please. It is going to be Ezri Konza. Can he play at the belt? Yes, he can play right back. I had a feeling he'd be able to. And he can, which is very good. So, there's our base players in. We've got 30k coins. And that's it so far. Let's just sort this team out and get him in. Um, there's a lot of things to do. We're going to hopefully get some free points for just putting him in the team. And having a bit of a better squad, we should get some nice boosts in terms of uh, like coins and bits and bobs. So we'll just chuckle these in and hopefully get that sorted. Um, he can play DM, which is nice. We've got... Nabry out on the right-hand side. We've got Neymar out on the left-hand side. We have got Gino Immobile up top. And we have got Otavio in that center attacking mid-spot. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our team to take us to Division 1. Now, if that's the team that gets Division 1, I should be given a knighthood. Because I guarantee that's not going to happen. We've got a lot of bits to go and collect, which is nice. Some new training programs, which will certainly be very, very helpful. Uh, and some new objectives and missions as well. The career objectives are here. Very, very helpful. Thank you very much. Um, I was quite tempted to have the uh, have it so we could get the match pass. So we can get you know better players and more wits and wants. I don't think I'm going to do it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, I'm not completely against it. I'm also not buzzing for it we do we get a five star player we will get some rewards but you do obviously get a lot more for having the value and the premium let me know in the comments down below what you want should i have the match pass or not i'm just currently steering towards no but if people think it's going to make the series better then it'll be a obviously yes because we are doing it for the people we are here to improve that my next thing then really i suppose we need to get ourselves a better manager now, what are the events that we can go into versus the AI? Is there any quick events we can just get some nice little bits of money for? Um, is there like a... There's a bit... Oh, the beat the clock is still here. No, it's not. It's ended. Ah, oh, that's gutting. Ah, oh, no. Beat the clock's gone. And that was my way of getting all my points. Okay, there's going to be some things here then just to get our, our points up. Uh, debut match gives us 100 e football points, which is massive. Um... Literally just have to play, which is cool. Um, I'm going to do a lot of the AI stuff. I'll literally just show you guys the end result. I'm not going to bore you playing against the AI. Um, but that's full. We can definitely do that at the moment. Um, English Clubs Tour event. What's that? A position training program. Anything else getting from this? 1,000 points is 30k. 2,000 points is 30k. Prison training plus one. And every 1,000 points is 100 GP as well. Um, that's fine. Round one of this we need to do. 
because we need to get ourselves them 5,000 eFootball points and the United Chance deals to get ourselves the menu. And like I said, this will all be in this episode. This is going to be a big bumper episode, but I'm going to pretty much show you the end of the games for the AI stuff because playing as the AI is very, very boring. Um, but the, my recommendation is do all of this as soon as you get on the game. If you're as basic as I am and you've got Tiago Silver and Jemison in the back, get yourself into all of these, get it done as quick as possible and play against the AI. Um, Japanese clubs... We've got a uh, worldwide event there, which we'll certainly be going ahead and doing a uh, J-League ticket, which will be cool. We'll get that in, some points in there, and obviously the worldwide chance deal for April 11th. So a free worldwide player, I'm never going to turn that down. Same for the Brazilian clubs as well. This is all against the AI, so it's just an absolute no-brainer to do it. You get yourself loads of GP, some Brasiliano tickets, and chance deals at the Player of the Weeks as well. So I'm going to pretty much go ahead and uh, spend the next two or three hours getting all this done, getting all these completed, playing against the AI, which is going to be very, very boring, and show you guys the last, well, the end of the game for every single one, basically. And um, we should get loads and loads of bits in. I'm not going to claim anything in terms of points or anything until the end i'm going to just show you every single like the two seconds of every single game and then at the points at the end remember what we're on currently we are on a grand total of 35,000 gp 20 gold coins 200 e football points that should hopefully go way up and we should be able to sort of really sort our team out that is going to be episode one of the rtg is just sorting the team out and then hopefully we can get into the divisions in the next episode, online divisions as well. Because again, in this episode, we'll go for all the AI stuff in the divisions. Because on eFootball, uh, the first couple of divisions, I believe it's 10, 9, and 8 is AI, I think think um based on what a few people were telling me that i talked to on stream and stuff they've just started playing the game and that's what it is for them so we're looking to get that done asap and get us into sort of division a and get online for the next episode as well um there's not really anything else to do in terms of the events there could be some online events which will be helpful for us but they're gonna be a lot more difficult um team play fun i'd like to maybe get done for this weekend as well that'll be fun golden goal i mean uh, we're just going to get absolutely cooked in this. I think we'll do it, but it will get cooked for a little bit and it will take us a long time. Brazilian Club's dream event for some skill training again. These events are an absolute goldmine for an RTG. For a first-time player, for someone that is looking to get into eFootball, these are massive. I mean, what do we get for this? Because... I will certainly be doing this with the boys. We'll be doing that hopefully for something this weekend. Uh, we'll definitely play it this weekend so uh, we get the rewards for it. And it might come out next week. But um, yeah, that's certainly going to be there. A lot of things to do. But this is what I'm concentrating on for now. The versus AI dream events. And as simple as that, the uh, debut match is done. It's on beginner. So you can literally score a goal, put your controller down, and they will not do anything as long as you have possession of the ball. So 93 possession. And that is a big one because that is 100 E football coins coming straight into us as well. But like I said, we'll be doing all of that after we're not gonna do any of this malarkey until we've done every single thing pretty much so uh that's a nice little 100 e football coins and now it's all about this grind um which is gonna take me a long old time it is 10 30 right now am this is gonna take me a long time i take it all back i've got into going to do the japanese events and i have to have it on superstar so i could do it as quick as possible because i've got to do nine games per one as i said this is gonna take a very long time but it will be worth it to get ourselves some thingies um so i think i'm gonna to need to build this team up a little bit to kick things off uh, otherwise we're gonna be absolutely you know in the mud so let's get ourselves some new players in we've got 50k in there we'll get a brand new goalkeeper a little manager in as well because we need it we literally need it otherwise we're gonna get cooked because that team was painful to play with even for the seven minutes i had to play with it for um i'm gonna get ourselves 100 coins here as well which you're gonna spend as wide as possible so we've got 98 thousand g points to go ahead and spend which is going to be helpful um a special player this we can spend a hundred of these and now it's obviously probably going to be best what is going to be best here a player of the week or an english italian or spanish player that's a tough one you know because there's not many players in here which i'm really excited about um they don't really get me going I actually think the play could be this English league. If we could get us a Haaland, a Van Dyke, a brand new keeper, a Jan Visser, a Diaby, a Matoma. That could be the play. Uh, Spanish league wise, we've got Valverde, Frankie de Jong. Oh, this could be the play, you know. This could be the play to get one of these in. And in the Italian league, I think there's more of a risk. I'm going to go and spend 100 points on... A English league player. I think this is the play. This is what I think is going to be best. So that's what I've gone for. We'd love a Haaland, a DM, a solid goalkeeper. 
not a centre back unless it's Van Dijk. And Matoma would be cool. That's who it is. I'm very excited by that. Matoma is sick. I'm very excited by that. Matoma is an awesome one to get because I've always wanted to use him, but I never managed to get the really good cards of him. So I'm buzzing with that. Matoma is in. That's cool. First time shot as well. And an outside curler. Matoma. That's absolutely sick. That's, I'm very, very gassed with that. That's very, very cool. Um, right, so what do we need then? We need a... Let me have a look at the team. We need a manager, that's for sure. Um, in terms of play style, I've always played quick counter. Um, I've always played the Kloppo systems. So I guess we're going to be doing the same thing here. I'm sorry, Otavio. You've played one game. You have been dropped to the bench. Um, that's a little bit peak. But it is what it is. Matoma is here. Um, we need to get this manager sorted. So we need a DM, a left back, and a goalkeeper, and a manager... Now, DM, I'm not that fussed about because we're going to get ourselves that menu pretty quickly as well. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to do that maybe first before I did the Japanese ones to get that menu come through. Um, but we need to get a goalkeeper and a left back and a manager. Now, manager is very important. Um, we obviously can't get anyone like Kloppo or a Xavi or anything like that. So we're looking for someone around the 30k mark, I imagine. Um, I mean, is that going to be Ange? That is Ange with quick counter and possession game. Increased defensive players. I'm going to get Postacoglu in. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but he has the versatility of doing quick counter and the positional play as well. Um, a goalkeeper is up next <clears throat> that we need to bring in. Um, so let's have a little look at who we can get here. We're looking at around again. 30k I'm happy to spend on a goalkeeper and a left back. Um, I don't know if there's any that are stand out good, to be honest. Um, a Karnaseki, a Lunin, a, a Chevier. A little bit pricey. I'd get it down a little bit. Matt Turner. Now, that is not what's happening. Uh, Ukan Kashir, Van German, Inkovic, Savage, Dean Henderson. I mean, does it really matter, to be honest? I don't think so. Um, I'm trying to look for as pretty as cheap as possible. <laughs> because that's what this is about. Saving money. Uh, this guy's got... I mean, Neto has got 32 levels. 32 KGP. A rated right now, which is being standard here. Low punt and captaincy. That works for me. 30k is A rated currently, standard form. Neto is in as the goalkeeper. I think that's a decent one to get in. Um, and then in terms of the left back, we are probably going to look to play the, the sort of the meta in terms of the three back system. So quite a defensive left back would be good. Um, and again, if we can spend anywhere between sort of 20 and 30k, I'd be happy. Um, if we can keep going down a little bit, actually. Just to, get, just to get it as low as possible because we don't want to be spending too much. No, you know what? Yeah, yeah, no, carry on. Uh, who have we got at United that we could get in here? Obviously, we are a United fan. Is there any, you know, I think Cam Waller can only play centre-back. I know he is now on the game. He can. Hmm, okay. Um, Onye Goule is only right back. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. I might get Cam Waller and just play the three centre-backs. Yeah, why not? He's got D rating. I should have done it. I've wasted. Uh, all right. Campuala's in. Willie Campuala is in. Uh, that's fine. He's fairly quick, so he should be okay there. Um, um, oh, we, could, we don't get Mainu. Um, Oh, we should have got Johnny Evans. We so should have got Johnny Evans in. We've absolutely bottled it. Um, I've choked it. I've choked it. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, that's cool. Well, let's just sort out this team then. And then get this team rocking. Uh, in terms of formation wise as well. We'll keep the 4 2 3 one now, for now. Because I think it's the most basic thing to really set up. Which is going to be handy for us. Uh, we don't want to go in for anything too extravagant for now. Uh, if we pull that back into there. That back in there a little bit. Drop you two a tad. So we can have a nice defensive back line. Make you a centre back. Seem to come in a little bit. Into there. Love less stuff. Maybe just move. Oh my god. That was a bit crazy. Move you into there. Move you into there. You can do that. Lovely. Um, Jemison, are you quick? No. All right. Campuala's going to go there then. Um, we're going to get Neto in goal. And for now, the DM's going to stay. But obviously, we are going to have Mainu coming in. We're going to do that up next. We're going to get Postacoglu in there as well. So that improves everyone there, which is nice. In terms of the play style, it's going to be quick counter. And uh, we have also got some points to spend. I think we're going to juice up our Matoma. I think that's the thing we're going to do. I think he is the player that we're going to keep for the longest. So it makes the most sense to juice him up. Um, I do want to sort of juice up a few players. So we'll get level 16 in Matoma for now. Um, Immobile is probably going to be a you know a striker for quite a while as well. So we'll get him up a little bit. 
And finally, because Campuala is so low, and I actually do want to get him quite good, we'll do Willy Campuala as well. So he can grow in that way too. And we'll get the quick progressions on them. Um, player progression. Oh, well, okay. And then just have a little playthrough. Up to 80 rated for Campuala is massive. But that defending is cracked. That's a bit too good already. Um, that's fine. We'll, we'll drop that a bit more as well. I think pace is going to be important for him as our fullback. So uh, we'll get him a little bit better on the ball. 79 rated Willie Campuala. Matoma, we will also sort out here um, in terms of his player progression. We need him to have a bit of pace about him, which he has got. He's got the dribbling. He's got the pace. He's got the job on a technicality. Um, finishing could be a bit better. Um, we, I'm going to drop that to six and get that finishing up. So he's just better straight away. 89 now on Matoma is helpful. And then Mobley as our bagsman striker. This is an important one. Um, again, we do need him to be quick. I'm going to drop that to two. I'm going to make him a bit, 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 bit better of a link up strike. A little bit better than the old link up for, uh, for our old friend there. Um, and the team's looking a lot better. Straight away, look. A lot better. Camp Wilder is one of our best players already. I love it. That's fantastic. And um, we have got a few more missions. That we've got 10 missions. Crikey, Riley, to go ahead and collect as well, which is cool. So we'll get all of them in, which is nice. Have we just got loads more coins? We've got 63k. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a lot of money. Let's get a DM in. Let's get a proper DM in and replace Bugrad when uh, we get Mainu. This is... A completely off the cuff session here. This wasn't meant to happen. We were meant to be having a very quick little sort around here. We need an actual DM though. 60k. I'm willing to spend pretty much all of it on this um, because it's going to be a position that is going to stay for a lot of time. Amrabat, Ruben Neves would have been cool, but he's a bit expensive. Kondogbia could be very good. Uh, Ali Maserati could be quite cool as well. I'm trying to think of the meta. I need a big boy because someone like Rykard is just a joke. I mean, I might get Ali Maserati, you know. Who else is using Ali Maserati? Literally no one. He's a D-rated vote. We're not getting him. Uh, can we sort that out in here? Can we get the live update rating as A? Just so for now, we need someone that's going to come in and cook. Um, our best option is Onyandika. He is a DM. He doesn't have a game face, which really annoys me. Um, I would like a game face. Please. Uh, we might not be able to do A. Um, let's do B. Let's have a look at A and B. The A's and B's. The ones and twos. Neman oh, mate. Nemanja Matic. I'm absolutely fine with that. Matic in the middle of our pitch. What a go. What a go. We've got Matic in the midfield. The team, though, is actually a lot better straight away. We have made some big, big improvements to the side. The, uh, the game plan is looking a hell of a lot nicer. We've actually got a team which can play a little bit of eFootball soccer ball. Um, in terms of the individual instructions, I'll put defensive on um, both Bourguard and on Matic because we don't want them going forward too much. They need to be sitting back. And uh, as well, I will put a counter target on Immobile as well. Just sort of the done thing, I think, from watching videos. Um, we're not going to do anything similar there. That should be us. Now it's time for me to go ahead and collect everything we need to go and do in this match ratings. Whether it's the events, we need to do everything here and uh, get this club juiced up. Oh, well, I tell you what, this has been stressful. I am, um, <laughs> we'll go through the results in a minute. This is the third game. We've done it in three games, which I think is the quickest you can do it in. Um, the first game, though, we did on top player and we drew against Barcelona, which I was very angry about in the uh, in the 85th minute ago by a penalty. So the second game, I played on Superstar against Bayern Munich and won 1-0. And in that game, we just played against Arsenal and won 4-2. 1,009 points um, on top player, which was good. Um, so we have managed to get it done. We have got the points for Mainu. I think I need to go and link my account up. That should be 5,000 points in. We'll go through and collect all of this as well. Um, but Mainu is what I want. We want Kobe in the midfield. We've got the five United players to go and get as well. But mainly right now, we're concentrating on getting Mainu in. Right, I think I've got it. I clicked exchange on the interwebs. I'm going to now claim to the in-game inbox. It's being really weird about it. I hope it's given me a Mainu because... I'm getting a bit angry here. It's my, there we go. Mainu's in. 
thank God for that. I don't, I don't know if it's on PC it takes you to there, but Mainu is here. And that is very exciting because this guy is fantastic. He is an absolute god um, and you can make him so good. I need to go back and watch a video and get him juiced up fully. To be fair, I haven't actually got the points to get him fully maxed up. But Mainu is in, which is exciting. I actually love it. We've got ourselves a copy. Ah, oh, my absolute favorite player at the moment. I love me a bit, Kobe Mainu. And there he is, look, next to Matic in the middle of our pitch. Uh, we'll go through and collect all the missions as well. 15 objectives is pretty good to see. We'll get all of that. 42,000 in GP is a very nice little boost in there as well. Um, that's a massive upgrade to the team already, though. A few bits in here. And five United players to go and get, as well as 70,000 in the coins. So I think it's time to maybe get a few, um, like a backup striker and bits. A Hoyland would be great. I'd love to juice up a Hoyland. We'll see what we get, though. We've got 18 players here to go and get. We will just skip it all. A Bruno would be nice. A Scotty too hotty. Scotty and Manu. Oh, we're going to put a United team. I love it. I love it. Matic is now a backup player. Sorry, Nemanja. Scotty too hotty is here. And we've also got Alejandro Garacho, which is also fantastic. If he can play on the right, which he can't. Okay. He might be a backup to Matoma, to be honest, because Matoma is very good. He has carried me through them games in there. And we've also got a Erasmus in, and that's our brand new striker. Let's go, Erasmus. That's unbelievable. That means that Mobile will probably drop to the bench. We'll have to upgrade Rasmus, or maybe not. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, Diego Dallo is a brand new right back. We need Konza can move to centre back, which is great. Dallo looks fantastic. And the final one to get, give us a Brunito for an edge. The final one is a Marcus Rashford. Oh, it's lovely. We've got our Nico play on the right as well. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. We've got ourselves some nice little new players in as well. We need to go through the team now and sort it out. Right, so that's all the players on the bench then. We have got Dallo to certainly come in to this team over Konza. Um, Tiago Silva and Jemison have actually been an absolute rock at the back. And Willie has been very good out there as well. Um, McTominay can come into midfield over a place. And Nemanja Matic is fine by me. Um, I think what we're going to do is have a look at upgrading these. I'm definitely going to do Rashford because he can play on the right. I don't think Matoma can play anywhere else other than the left, which means Garnacho sadly is a backup winger, but that's fine. Having a super sub would be great. Neymar was getting battered in terms of his fitness in uh, this, so it would be nice to have someone in there. I always think Hoyland's not worth upgrading, which is a bit sad, but um, we've already upgraded Mobley quite a lot, and we do need to use these points wisely. It's not quite as easy as it is on a money RTG to get ourselves loads and loads of coins and stuff. Um, I'm going to go for and upgrade these players sort of off the uh, off, off the screen, really. Uh, don't really worry about that too much. We do want to get a little boost on Mainu. Um, I think he's worth just chucking a little bit on to make him a bit better. Straight away, we'll just play aggressive with that. We'll allocate it because whatever it does here will be fine. 84 rated in there is nice to see. Um, and then Rashford is the one we want to do as well because he's going to be our right winger. And now I think, again, we'll get on to level 20. We'll get quite a bit on Rashford because he is going to be very good for us. Um, again, oh, well, okay, it's probably the best play here. I'm not interested in his passing being much better. It's all about pace with Rashford. I'm going to be an absolute demon. 90 speed, 91 kicking power. Thank you, Marcus. Get yourself on that right wing, son. And uh, Dallo as well. We'll have a nice little boost too. We'll give him We'll give him both of these and get him up in ratings. Get ourselves a nice right back in there. Um, Parsons are ready to be fair good enough. Um, dribbling's good. Dexterity's good. Um, we'll get that defensive work up a little bit. We'll drop this to six. We'll get the defensive work up to seven. Get him to an 84, make him better defensively. And that is an absolute solid start, I must say. Um, and actually, what we could potentially do... No, we can't. Don't worry about that. Ignore what I was about to say. It would have been an absolute waffle. Rashford is in as our brand new right wing forward. Mainu and McTominay in DM. We've got a long old way to go. But we have now got a decent bunch of super subs. The team is looking... Okay, and uh, there is another mission to quickly just go ahead and uh, complete here, which we shall get in if I click the right things. That is, anyway, uh, another 200 eFootball points. Thank you very much, eFootball points. We will take them on the chin very much so. It's quite good to be a United fan of this new season, actually, because of that United thing in there, which is nice. Um, obviously, there is now a lot to go through again still on the events. The plan is still to do it all in this uh, episode. Um, so English clubs, Japanese clubs, and Brazilian clubs. I have got a, a lot to do today, so it might not be all at once. That's taking me an hour to do that one, but in this episode, it will be all here. It might just be a bit choppy from here on out, but it's time to grind and uh, get this completed. Wow, the Rudies, what a day, ladies and gentlemen. This has taken a long, long time. It's now four o'clock. Um, that's how long this has taken. Uh, it's just for the Brazil one. Now, 
I obviously have said we're going to be doing all of this in today's episode. What I'm going to do is we're going to finish off this Brazil one here, get all the rewards from it, show you guys exactly what you get from doing one of the uh, events straight the way through. The others I'm going to do off of the recording and come back for next episode with it completed because this has taken five hours. Now, what I've done, which a lot of people might not know about, and it's something which I superbly recommend so as you can get on with your day, is if you click the X button for match settings, you can do it so the game is controlled by the AI. Hence why some of these results are nil nils, two ones, one nils against the AI on Superstar. 404 points per game. It should take you around 10 games. This has taken us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 games. It's taken us 10 games and uh, it is what it is, but I haven't actually had to play the game once. Uh, obviously I make full manager content. Uh, so as you can see, I've been making foot manager videos this whole time, which is very, very helpful for me and getting the AI to do all the work for me. So if you've got bits you could be doing rather than playing against the AI, I would fully recommend setting to the AI controlled, setting the match level as superstar and letting your team go away and do the business. But we have got everything completed, which is absolutely sick. And I haven't claimed anything. So we've got 19 missions and 12 things in the inbox, which is unbelievable stuff. We have got an event chance for the Brazilian clubs, lots of 4K match pass rewards, 30K there, 4Ks, 30Ks, 4Ks, and an event pass there as well. Receive it all, 131,000. That is absolutely lovely. Uh, in terms of missions, we've got 19 things in here, nine in the Brazilian league, so we'll have lots of things here, which is class, um, 50 football coins, Brazilian clubs, etc. Unreal, received that all as well. Uh, 10k train points times two all the good stuff we love to see it um that's a lot of business that is and then objectives wise we've got 10 in here as well for the career objectives uh, a lot of e football coins which is great another a whole bunch of stuff which is just simply fantastic i wonder what sort of money we've got now we've got 180,000. we need 30 more e football points as well to get another 100 coin spin which is great we've got four contracts now i'm not sure what these all are we've got one per of the week which is cool and then we've got two of the Brazilian club so we'll complete this we'll get alan patrick and casio as well and the standard player ticket which is a just a brazilian league player it is so we'll just open this and skip it i'm not sure if anyone decent decent is in the brazilian league and uh, we've got paulo vitor who's the cdm from um uh, Athletic Mineiro. um uh, i'm sorry mate you're getting released but thank you very much uh, we'll take that player release little bonus on there for sure and we shall open up these now we're obviously going to keep the suspense so we'll open up these two first of all uh, it's quite nice to get a decent and keeper in. It'd be better than Neto. Not that Neto was bad at all, but Cassio will be coming into the team, so expect some Cassio gameplay coming up over the uh, next few days. Um, I believe he has low punt. He does penalty saver and captaincy. 24 levels, C rated, 36. Decent sort of stats, etc. So we'll see what he's like. And Alan Patrick, I'm hoping is going to be decent as well. Uh, obviously, we've got Neymar, we've got Rashford, Garnacho, all that lot. But um, another midfielder to come in should be decent. He's not the quickest of players. Uh, probably been in Brazil, that's fair enough. He's inconsistent as well. Uh, but he does have one touch pass. He has long range shooting, first time shot. Some decent stats on him. Um, he could be worth looking into for sure, but we'll move to see about him. The next up is the team of the week. Now, on my main account, we've got Mickey van der Ven, which I was buzzing with. Um, I would not like Nico Williams purely for the fact we're sorted on wingers. I'd like a striker, but the reason I didn't go for it much on my account is we don't really have a striker in here that I'm interested in. So, War Prowse would be quite good, I suppose. A solid DM like Rico Lewis, a big centre back could be huge. Um, and obviously, as well, we have got the uh, nominating contracts, which we'll go through in a minute as well, because there could be some in there that we're looking at. But the team of the week we have got for completing the Brazilian thing, this is the overall reward of getting this. That's why we've gone ahead and done it. Let me know if it was worth it down below, because we have just got ourselves a Yassine Adley, who actually could be quite good. Can he play in DM? Because if he can, he's a big old boy. Oh, he can't. He's set up in cam. Great ball control and low, uh, yeah, low pass. Great dribbling as well. He could be quite good, you know. As an orchestrator, one touch pass, which is so important. Long range shooting. I'm excited by Yassine Adli, you know. He comes into the team next to Kobe Mainu, that's for sure. We might even change up our formation to get him involved a bit more. And uh, in terms of the, the nominating contracts, we've got some. We've got two four-star ones. So, Bobby Deco Dover reed Takafusa Minamino. Both of them are certainly options. Minamino, for sure, could be someone. And Deco Dover reed as well can play literally anywhere we want him to. So, again, someone to firmly think about. He hasn't got many player skills, though. Has Minamino got some? He's got a lot. 
one touch pass again very interesting as a whole player as well and um, we've got the j league here so is there anyone here that could be very good i'm aware that this guy i think there's a there's a guy on twitter that i, I follow uh, for eFootball stuff he loves this guy i think he could be quite good there could be a good striker. We could have a look at these into them. Let me know in the comments down below if any of these are worth picking up. Obviously, we have got some uh, three-star one, a three-star one as well. Um, I'm sure some of these will go into the team and be better than what we've got. So let me know down below any of these players that should come in. And of course, as well, with the Liga MX, the exact same. There could be some good little players in here that I'm not too aware of. Um, I and mean, if we look at the four-star ones, it's pretty much everyone from here onwards. So... Herrera, a super fast winger. Looks cool as well. That's always fun. Great dribbling. D-rated currently, but very good. Some decent stats for him. Um, Paradelia. Uh, Villa Pondo is a cool name. I like you. Classic number 10. Goalkeeper-wise, we should be all right, really, with Casio. Um, although just getting something that's good. Could be good. Magalan, I know. He could be fairly decent. Send him back to get in quite quick. He's a destroyer as well. Certainly someone to look at. Doria looks cool. Build up, play centre back with great physical contact. Again, if any of these are good enough that you think should be getting into the team or you think that I'm not seeing, let me know in the comments down below because it will help me out massively. Uh, I mean, in terms of what we've done so far in this episode, first episode of the RTG, I'd say very, very successful. We've set our team up now to the point where we can go into uh, online divisions, which is sick. I'm very happy with that. And we're doing all of that away from in between episode one and episode two. This is obviously a, a getting started episode. So it's probably going to be about 45 minutes-ish. But the team we've ended up with, the players we've got are very good. A lot of skill points to go and put on these boys as well. We've had some serious growth. Tiago Silva's got 14 on him. Immobile's been very good. Neymar's been decent. Jemison, we've got some big boost to put on. We've gone very, very well. And we've ended up with this team to finish things off. Neto in gold. Dallo, Tiago Silva, Jemison, Willy Kambawala, Tomine Mainu, Neymar, Rashford, Mitoma, and Immobile. This has been from about five hours worth of gameplay. And I'm a huge fan of what we've done so far. In terms of the events left to do, we've got to go away and do um, the Japanese clubs event and the English clubs event. And that is me done. So these are, again, I think about, you know, probably five hours worth of things to go ahead and simulate through. Uh, as I believe it's again another 3,000 one, which it is, which is a little bit long, but it's what it is. And the English clubs one isn't quite as important. I might not have this done by next time. We'll see. It might be something I do in between the next one. It's only really 30k we're looking at. So I'm not that interested in getting it done. Um, as mentioned as well, I do want to try and get the co-op team play fun uh, done with some of the lads as well. Um, Josh Daly and uh, we've got Clex as well interested in coming and play. Uh, possibly a few other boys from the stream as well. Um, and a golden goal as well. We should have a look at. We'll have a look at the events next time out. My job from now on is to just get things all in order let me know what i should be spending as well my 200 000 coins on down in the description below i hope this has helped anyone start out their first time any football i mean i don't have absolutely loved the video like this so i hope it's helped some people and i'll speak to you guys next time